operation demonstration. First, plug in the power supply, turn on the power switch. The display shows the data when the machine was turned off last time. And the machine is in a state where the parameters can be set. If it is not adjusted, the machine will move according to the setting data when it was turned off last time after startup. Second, after the setting is completed, press the start pause button to start the machine. After running at least two back and four strokes, observe whether the machine is running properly and whether there is any malfunction in the machine. And then pause the machine. Third, set the length of the bracket. The calf rod can be adjusted in any state of the machine. And the thigh rod needs to be adjusted when the machine runs to the arch state. Situation 1. The patient's height is normal. Generally, only the calf rods need to be adjusted, and the thigh rods do not need to be adjusted. Adjust the calf support. Loosen the calf adjustment knob. Pull or contract the calf support to make the calf support fit the patient's calf length. And tighten the calf adjustment knob. Situation 2. The patient is very tall over 190 cm and needs to stretch the stand. Adjust the calf support. Loosen the calf adjustment knob. And pull the calf support to make the calf support fit the patient's calf length. Adjust the thigh support. Loosen the thigh adjustment knob. And pull the thigh support to make the thigh support fit the patient's thigh length. Tighten the calf adjustment knob and the thigh adjustment knob. Situation 3. The patient is very short and needs to retract the stand. Adjust the calf support. Loosen the calf adjustment knob. And contract the calf support to make the calf support fit the patient's calf length. Adjust the thigh support. Loosen the thigh adjustment knob. And contract the thigh support to make the thigh support fit the patient's thigh length. Tighten the calf adjustment knob and the thigh adjustment knob. Fourth, set the extension angle, flexion angle, running speed and running time according to the actual situation of the patient. After pressing the corresponding key, the corresponding character on the display flashes. And you can press the plus and minus sign keys to make corresponding adjustments. After the adjustment is over, you must press this key to confirm. And then you can select the control mode and control torque according to the patient's condition. Fifth. Confirm that the parameters are set correctly on the display screen. Press the start pause button to turn on the machine. The machine displays the actual running value instant running angle, etc. After observing the machine running to back and forth, it feels that the parameter settings are appropriate. After the machine is normal, only then can the patient's lower limbs be placed on the pallet. Start the machine and run it for two more rounds, and there is no abnormality. The operator can leave and pay attention to handing the hand controller to the patient and make relevant instructions. Otherwise, press the start pause key to pause and reset the parameters. From a safety point of view, the patient's lower limbs cannot be fixed with the pallet, even if there are caregivers and operators operating the machine. Sixth. The machine is equipped with extension and flexion function keys. Press the corresponding key. The machine will run in the direction of extension or flexion. Needing attention.